the globe as a whole is warming, but everywhere is warming as well. So Reading is warming just as much as anywhere else. And the response to these challenges needs to be local and global. And that's why these local partnerships are so important. We need action from everybody around the world to take the small actions needed to reduce the consequences in the future. And so we need to do these conversations locally. And that's why this is so exciting to be partnering with Reading Football Club. So this partnership with Reading Football Club is so exciting because we're bringing the stripes to a whole new audience. This is the first time we've engaged with a professional sports club to spread this very important message. Uh, and so it's fantastic that our local club is adopting these stripes. When we were discussing the new kit, it was obviously very clear that the hoops are very important and need to be kept. But the club also has red in its badge as well. And so the stripes naturally lend themselves to the club's colours. And so they can be very naturally integrated within the club shirts. So the idea is to talk about climate change in as simple and as visual a way as possible. And so we came up with the idea of just using simple coloured stripes to represent the changes in temperature over the last 150 years since the club was founded. And so what we have done, we've created these stripes for, for Berkshire uh, to represent the changes in our local region. So we've been taking measurements of temperature for the last 170 years. Millions of measurements taken all over the world, showing very clearly that the world is warming up and it's our fault. But we want to distill that very complicated science into a very simple message. The world is warming, it's our fault, and these stripes communicate that very effectively. See, these stripes start conversations. They make people ask questions about what they represent, what they mean. And that's how this partnership came about. Reading Football Club saw the stripes on the university campus and asked the question, what do they represent, what does that mean? And there, this partnership was born out of that simple conversation. So this is going to be a journey, I think, for the football club, for the university and for fans. We can all make small changes to make a difference, to be more sustainable, to reduce our own effect on the planet. And hopefully by starting these conversations amongst fans, we can enable people to have constructive conversations with the people sitting, sitting next to them at the stadium, or their friends, or their family, or their colleagues about what they can do to make a difference.